turning on the bright lights, Johnny Hollywood Case up close and living large in Southern California. I like to do things that scare me. I like to conquer fears and I like to push myself and, and do things that I think I can't. <laughs> yeah, baby. And welcome back. With 10 consecutive victories, half of them by knockout or TKO, Johnny Case is not so quietly making a name for himself. And during his impressive run, he has also shown the ability to adapt by leaving his native Iowa to train full time with the Powerhouse Alliance team out of Southern California. And the new setting has given the thrill-seeking fighter known as Hollywood an all new terrain to attack. We're here in beautiful Chula Vista, California. Uh, Jeremy Lil Heathen's house. That's where I stay for all my camps. Jeremy has really taken me in under his wing, allowed me to live with his family and have a home to stay in. I came out here, I didn't know anybody. I was staying at the gym, train hard Monday through Saturday. Yeah, it really takes a lot of the stress away just coming out here and taking things easy in the morning, and sorting stuff out. Growing up in the Midwest has given me the work ethic that a lot of fighters don't have. It's a grinding kind of lifestyle. You gotta be tough just to make it. I always knew that if I kept doing the right things and just doing what I was supposed to do, I knew that I would end up in the UFC. And I did. 18 career victories for Johnny Case. All the grinding, all the years of barely having the money to pay the bills, one night, you change all of that. Johnny Hollywood Case! Johnny Case may be the next big thing to come out of Alliance MMA. Alliance is a big family. You know, everybody's looking out for everybody. Jeremy Stevens, Miles Jury, they've been a big impact on me out here in California. Miles Jury was getting ready to fight Diego Sanchez, and uh, he was in Iowa doing a seminar when uh, I had a fight with the RFA. He thought that I fought similar to Diego Sanchez, so he brought me out, and I was his sparring partner. He's one of those guys that does good in the gym, but he shines out when it's competition time. And uh, being around that every day, I feel like, uh, you know, it, it can only make you better. The sense of team that we have, push each other, not just to go in there and, and be selfish and get what we want, but just go in there and help everybody and make everybody better. It's the key ingredient to any good team. Line time three. One, two, three. I like to do things that scare me. If things make my heart race and make me feel a little nervous or uneasy, then I like to do that. Ready to go? You have any questions? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, you got your helmet? Come on. <laughs> Boom. I like to uh, conquer fears and I like to push myself and, and do things that I think I can't. <laughs> Flyboarding was, was a trip, man. It took a little bit to get your balance. It's kind of like on a pivot point, putting your toes and kicking your toes up. Once you get it, man, it, it's, it's addicting. I think I'm gonna be doing it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, baby. I remember going my first MMA fight and being just in awe, thinking who in the hell would get in a cage and fight each other. <laughs> At the same time, it had a little bit of allure to it. And took my first fight, dropped the guy in 30 seconds, just kind of kept going that way for me. I think Tokoromi's out. He's out. It's all over! Johnny Case! Every time they see Johnny Hollywood Case step in the cage, you're going to see a fist fight. You're going to see a knockdown drag out. You're going to see blood. You're going to see cuts. You're going to see violence in the highest entertainment. Possible. This could eat the pound trying to finish this fight. That's it. I know I can fight with anybody on any given day. Give me the right camp and give me give me the right night and I can beat anybody. Johnny Case next steps foot inside the octagon in UFC 188 against Francisco Trevino as he looks to continue his trek from prospect to contender.